Good morning. Good morning. My Hi. name is uh, Robert Pohl and uh, I got up this morning and checked my cell phone and noticed that there was a brand new geocache hidden out here in the desert. So I, as soon as I had a little breakfast, I got hopped in the car and drove out here. A geocache is uh, something that is hidden. There are uh, actually in the Antelope Valley, there's over 2000 uh, geocaches hidden out here. And uh, we get the coordinates on our cell phone and then we come out and look for them. The uh, GPS's that we have will get us within about uh, five meters of uh, where it's hidden and uh, then over time you sort of uh, develop a, a sense of uh, what you're looking for and where to find it. And if you come with me I'll show you where this one is hidden. There was a little clue with this one that said uh, that it is a SPOR, which stands for Suspicious Piece of Rock near a small stop sign. And I drove out here and there are stop signs like this one. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. But there are also, I noticed a couple of smaller stop signs for a bike path. Okay. Over here. <coughs> and uh, under these rocks, you'll notice that uh, someone has deposited a little pillbox with a log in it. It's in a plastic bag so that in, in case it does rain here, which it does maybe five times a year. <laughs> uh, I wrote down the time that I came because I'm the first one to find this new geocache. So F the FTF, uh, first to first find. to find, okay. yeah, at 9:38 on the 30th of April, 2022. Because I lived in Germany for 37 years, I can't. I always change the date around to day, month, year. Okay, and then my code name for this hobby is Com 54 Min. So then I registered this. And then I go on. Do you on. leave anything behind for other people to find as well, or? Yeah, I left a quarter for the okay. for the next finder. All right. <laughs> and then you put it back when when it's done. Yeah. And I'm gonna bury it again here. Yeah, people that would not even suspect that anything is there until they they come over. It started in uh, December of 2014, and in the meantime, I have found over 8,400 of these in 17 states and seven countries in Europe. Oh, wow. And if anybody from our community would like to participate, uh, do they su need to subscribe or how does it work? Well, that's nice too. You can sign up for this. Uh, just go to geocaching. Dot com and uh, you can sign up for free and then there is also uh, a membership for 30 marks a year or $30 a year uh, which gives you more information about more caches okay. <laughs> and uh, oh, also interesting the last couple of years they have started doing something called adventure caches the adventure cache uh, would be, for example, in uh, Palmdale, you're not looking for uh, a mint tin or a pill bottle or something like that. You are looking at cultural sites. So they will take you to historical places or cultural sites and uh, there's usually a question to answer, like they might take you out to where the uh, the uh, blackbirds are that little airport mm -hmm. and then they would ask you uh, when was the first one built or something like that so uh, my wife prefers that kind rather than roaming around in the desert but it's a lot of fun and as I've often said to people it's a lot cheaper than golf <laughs>